Hello and welcome back to another tutorial from LearnPythonTutorial.com. Today we're going to talk about Python numbers. This is just going to be a brief overview of uh, the numbers in Python, what type of numbers are available to us, and uh, the four basic operators, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Um, like I said, it's a brief overview. Uh, we're going to have a chapter dedicated just to numbers, and, that, and there we'll look at uh, numbers more in depth including uh, numerous operators that are available to us um, also uh, built-in functions that are available for numbers so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and dive into this and uh, take a brief overview of numbers just to get your feet wet I don't want to overwhelm you at first so um, Python numbers we have three different types in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about integers and floating point numbers. The third type is complex numbers, and we'll save that for the later chapter I was talking about. Um, integers, to uh, demonstrate what an integer is, we're going to open up our Python interpreter. To do that, um, we either, if for you Mac users, you need to open your terminal, and for you uh, Windows users, you need to open command prompt. To do that, let's go ahead and hit... Um, for Mac users, since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to do command spacebar to bring up spotlight, type in terminal, hit uh, return. It's going to bring up my terminal. For Windows users, go ahead and go down to your start menu, go to the search box, type in CMD Charlie Mike Delta, and hit uh, enter, and that will bring up your command prompt. Now for Mac users, type in Python 3 since we're working with Python 3, and hit return. Windows users, you're just going to type in Python. Unless you have your path set up differently, then refer to how you would open your Python 3 interpreter. Now we have our Python 3 interpreter opened. Let's look at what an integer is. An integer is a number without a decimal point. So 2 would be an integer. Uh, fit D6 is an integer, 8,965 is an integer. They're all integers. Um, integers aren't as precise as uh, floating point numbers, which floating point numbers have a decimal. So let's look at some floating point, des uh, floating point numbers. Floating point number would be like 56.89. That's a floating point number. 600 and 50.43 is a floating point number. These are more precise within when we're programming. So, you know, when you're programming, you gotta decide what are you gonna use? You're gonna use an integer? Does your program require an integer? Or does it require a float? Do you wanna be even more precise and use a float over an integer? Those kind of things you need to, you know, think about when you're programming. Another subfamily of integers is called a boolean a boolean which is true or false true or false um, true or false are considered integers actually and the reason for that being um, true is equal to one and false is equal to zero to just prove that point that they're actually integers would be true plus one hit return we get two false plus let's say zero we should get zero zero they're actually the way python set up they're actually integers um i don't think you would ever add them together unless you're you know really wanted to but when we use true or false you know that's a way for us to say is this statement true or is this statement false but they're technically integers so that's just something you know i wanted to point out in the beginning so you don't get confused down the line now let's look at some math in python um, to add two numbers together we use the plus sign so if we want to add five plus four we hit we use the plus sign in between and we hit return we're going to get nine if we want to add 78 789 plus 89 we get 878 pretty simple pretty straightforward to do some addition how about uh, adding floats together 7.6 plus 
8.7, we get 16.299999997. Um, sometimes Python will spit out a very long number. Actually, if you look at it, this number should be 6.3. But for, py for Python to be even more precise, it actually converts it to a very long number. There's ways to work around this, and I will show you how to do this in the numbers chapter. Um, how about if we add it 7.6 plus 5? Well, guess what? We're adding a float and an integer together, and we're going to get a um, floating point number because, you know, 7.6 plus 5 is going to be, was that, 12.6. So we get a floating point number. How about if we did 6? Point zero plus four. Well, there's actually, if you think about it, there's actually no number. We could actually use six plus four and get the same number. But when you add a floating point number to an integer, you're going to get a floating point number. So we hit return and we get 10. How about if we want to subtract numbers? Let's do six minus four. We use the hyphen to indicate a subtraction in Python. So we use six minus four, hit return and we get 2. How about 789 minus 53, hit return, and we get 736. Let's try some floating point numbers. 6.8 minus 5.3, we get 1.5. Pretty simple, but we have the same thing. If we did 6.0, our floating point number, minus our integer of 4, we we think we should get 2 because 6.0 doesn't really, zero, the point zero really doesn't hold anything. But when you use a floating point number, you're going to get back a floating point number. So 2.0. All right, cool. I think you guys are getting a grasp of that. So let's look at multiplication in, I didn't say that very well, multiplication in Python. So let's do 7, and then we're going to use star above your 8 normally 7 times 7. You should get 49. Cool. How about 765 times negative 56? We get negative 42,840. Alright, cool. How about some floating point numbers? 6.5 times 7.9 we get 51.83. Alright, cool. Works the way we expect it to. And let's do our other thing again. Let's do uh, 6.0 times 4, we get 24. Like I said, every time you use a floating point number, you're going to get a floating point uh, number in return. All right, so the last one we want to look at is division. We want to divide some numbers. So let's divide 78 divided by 5, we get 15.6. How about 98 divided by 23, we get 4.260, and some very long numbers after that. Cool, so how about floating point numbers and division? Let's do 99.99 divided by 33. <coughs> Excuse me, you get 3.03. .03. Pretty cool, right? Well, let's try our trick, uh, let's try our Test again, 6.0 divided by 4, we get 1.5. Uh, still a floating point number. Like I said, anytime you use a floating point number, you'll get a floating point number in return. The reason why I keep saying that is because I've had people ask me before, well, if 6.0 is not, you know, really indicate a number there, then why doesn't it just give you back, you know, 1? Uh, well, in this case, it would be 1.5 because that's how it's divided. But in other cases that we've shown up here, like 6.0 minus 4, why wouldn't it just give you back 2? Well, the way the Python program language is set up, you use a floating point number, you get a floating point number back. So I just want to em emphasize on that. Um, so that is just basics in Python numbers. There's a lot more operators that go along with it. There's a lot of built-in functions that go along with numbers. I just want to give the basics because this is... A this chapter is just covering basics. We understand, you know, an integer is a number without a decimal point. A floating point number is a number that has a decimal point. Um, 
Oh, one other thing I want to point out. Anytime you use division in Python, 10 divided by 2, we're going to get a floating point number, 5.0. All right? Um, you would say, oh, that's 5. Actually, anytime you use division in Python, it's going to give you a floating point number back. There's a ways around that, which uh, we'll dig into deeper in uh, the other chapter on numbers. But I'll just show you real quick, you know, just so you have an idea. To change, so if you want to divide 10 divided by 2, we can get a integer back. We can do int uh, parenthesis these. 10 divided by 2, and this will give us back an integer, 5. That's one way around it. We'll dig deeper into this in the next in the chapter on numbers, but I just want to point this out. Um, so we cover floating point numbers, integers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Um, like I said, this is just the basics in Python. Uh, next tutorial tomorrow. Or later today will be on strings and we'll discuss how strings work and how we can use them thank you for uh, watching our tutorial make sure you subscribe if you got any questions leave us a comment on YouTube or our website at learnpythontutorial.com have a nice day